Hey, are you waking around about 3 a.m. every morning or between 3 and 5? Maybe it's 3.33 or 4.44. Now there's a good chance it's more than just random sleep disturbance. It's likely you're being called upon to help spiritually in these challenging times. You know, and help we must. Because we are evolving, we are changing and this is the time for us to look at this. And these mystical wakings and the spiritual implications of waking up at these hours potentially mean that our spiritual paths are becoming more defined as a veil between our world is, is thinning. This was regularly called the witching hour, particularly around three in the morning. This unique point in time where the boundaries between our, our physical reality and the spiritual realm become increasingly permeable. Now it's rooted in, in most cultural and spiritual beliefs around the world and, and it's noted for the heightened spiritual activity and awareness. And aligning with these moments of opportunities for profound spiritual awakenings. This brings you a more intensified awareness with a, a surge and in intuition and a deeper connection with the unseen. We are, at this time, more receptive to, to messages, to, to guidance from our higher spiritual souls and our guardian angels. These can, can be in the form of dreams, of, of messages, or other types of higher communications that are offering us guidance and support or even offering us warnings that are crucial to our spiritual path. Now responding to these at 3 a.m. is essential of any spiritual practice with the importance of, of meditation, of prayer, of journaling, your dreams and remaining open to the many messages being conveyed to you. Any of these that are recurring like themes or feelings can provide significant insights into our spiritual journeys and we need to be need to be able to recognize and embrace these moments you know they can be amplified with this heightened receptivity and the tranquility the quietness of our surroundings and the calmness of our minds creating an ideal state for perceiving and responding to these very subtle energies. Now this is evident when someone is intensely thinking about and missing us or in need of our help. These are potent forms of energy capable of moving across spiritual dimensions and bridging vast distances, connecting people in ways that <clears throat> surpass conventional and physical means of communication. So, you know, if you're waking up during these early hours, it could well be an energetic call from someone connected to us on a deeper level. Trust your intuition and reflect on recent interactions or significant relationships in your life. Keep a journal close to your bed and record these moments when there is clarity and you'll be able to, to reflect on these later in the day. These, these revelations, revelations tend to become elusive and ambiguous during the hustle and the bustle of our everyday lives. This also now brings us to the phenomenon of astro projection. Astro travelers have found that this time is, of the night is the most favorable for exploring and journeying. <clears throat> <clears throat> the exploration beyond our physical reality involves traveling to different planes of existence. These have a tendency to provide profound knowledge and insight and have a, a marked impact on our personal and our spiritual growth. Now they necessitate writing in a journal and it, it is vital for reflecting on and understanding how profound these projections can be. <clears throat> and I've, we also have the comforting possibility between the hours of 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. the communication from our guardian angel. 
especially if it is around the 333. This is more than just coincidence and signifies that your guardian angel is attempting to make contact with you. They are guides and protectors assigned to each individual, offering support and wisdom during our most vulnerable and quiet moments, offering us guidance and answers to something that you know, we've been praying and meditating on. Now, this is incredibly reassuring and uplifting and a reminder that you know, we are not alone. We're not alone in our journey and that higher forces are always looking out for us. So, you know, waking between 3 and 5 a.m. may mean we need to, or more, self-compassion as we delve deeper into our spiritual journey. This is a time when we are extremely hard on ourselves in terms of work and expectations that we're putting on ourselves. And the universe is letting us know it's, it's a time to, to ease up and on ourselves and reflect that the perfection we seek in all areas of our lives can be unrealistic and cause unnecessary stress and frustration. You know, this can spill over into our personal lives, manifesting in trust issues and underlying the fear of betrayal and being able to trust others. It is the time to practice self-forgiveness and cultivate more compassion and understanding towards ourselves and others. You know, the most common cited reason for waking up at this time is often referred to as the critical juncture, where the barriers between the, the spiritual and the physical worlds are at their weakest, or I like to say their thinnest. It's a gateway to heightened spiritual awareness and connection. You know, where the distractions of the physical world are minimized, allowing the spiritual realm to, to come into clearer focus. You know, it can be a message, a, a revelation, or even a call to action. This communication might manifest in, in various forms, uh, like a, a sudden feeling, or insight, or even a vivid dream. The monthly times where the veils are thinnest are on a full and a new moon. You have 48 hours either side of this time for more connected communications, which goes without saying that these dates and between the hours of between 3 and 5 a.m. is the thinnest of all. You know, we also have to realize that we're living in a spiritual world governed by two predominant forces, good and evil. Regardless of your beliefs, know that the spiritual realm completely overrides the physical realm. That while we're asleep, deeply asleep, in our beds, the world continues to turn immersed in a spiritual war. You know, have you ever wondered why most evil occurs in the darkness of the night? If more of us were more aware of this, I think we spend more time in prayer and meditation instead of easily falling asleep. So when you wake between 3 and 5 a.m., you are called upon by the forces of good and light to pray, meditate, or give blessings for the health and welfare of all of us. Great Spirit, God, Allah, the universe, or whoever you believe our higher power to be, knows the danger from our enemy and is always seeking ways to protect them and to keep us safe. Knowing our vulnerability and warning us to be vigilant, to wake and pray. Three things I'd like you to do at this time is, number one, do your best to remember your last dream. This will guide you to, to pray accordingly. Two, meditate, be calm. Practice your breathing exercises like a box breath. Breathe in for two, hold for two, out for two, hold for two. And work up the numbers, threes, fours, fives. Number three, make declarations for Pachamama, Mother Earth, your nation, your village, your neighbours, the family, then yourself, and in Moonai, universal love. 
The other forces know this and use every means possible to stop us. Not only stopping us when we want to pray, but also when we, we want to get up and exercise, to meditate, yoga, or anything that raises you know, our vibration, our frequency, our, our energies. The old saying of the battle of the bed or the mind over mattress have been used in a joking way, but in reality, the dark side, the evil, or whoever you name this negative dark force to be has won another battle if you just stay in bed. You know, every time you feel lazy or lethargic or can't be bothered, this is the negative forces at work, stopping you from becoming the soul, the luminous being, the luminous energy, being the human you are wanting to be. You know, at this time of the day, between 3 and 5 a.m. is the darkest hours of the day. It's the time of the, the last watch of the night, a time of divine visitation, the hour of blessing. You've been chosen, the chosen one, the watchman or the watchwoman to look after and look over the new generation with your prayers, your visualizations, your imagination. You will help bring in a new world. Pray and meditate with love. Light, peace, healing, protection, joy, gratitude. I like to use a colour for each one and surround myself and my home and my neighbourhood, my village or city, my nation, Mother Earth, Pachamama, and a universe with each colour. Choose the colour that feels right for you, for each of the projections. If you want, let me know. What you chose and I'll tell you mine and we'll see how close we are. So if you're waking at 3 a.m. every morning or between 3 and 5 a.m., know that you have been called. You are the, the chosen one. You want to take responsibility seriously. We have a world to save and protect. You know, prayer is the language of God and the angels from the wisdom recorded in the deep sea scrolls to the native practices that have survived until this day. Prayer is universally described as a mystical language with the power to change your bodies, your lives and the world. And Greg Braden shared that with us. So in Munai, think of these times and believe in yourself and where you're here at this particular time and how important it really is. Send me some information. Tell me your thoughts if you're waking up at this time and how this has been beneficial or affected you in different ways. I'll chat with you soon.